Excellent. Okay. So in 2020, I thought I'd do a no buy for art supplies because I had purchased a ton of supplies in 19 and 2018. And 2020 turned into a year of also <laughs> no motivation. So we're going to start 2021 a little different and buy some things um, from Dick Blick, also known as Blick Art Supply Store Online. And lots and lots of packaging. Here are all the receipts. Things spent, yes. Okay, let's look through and see all the things I had to have in my life. So I received a gift card because my birthday and Christmas are really close together. So I thought I would purchase supplies and then do some thank you cards. So Strathmore makes tone tan. And I really love colored substrates, which is just a fancy way of saying colored paper helps save art supplies product because you don't have to do the middle tone colors. You just do the highlights and the shadows and you save stuff. See, they did a cute little, is that a Mercat? It's really cute. Okay, so some of those 10 pack. They also come in um, toned gray. They come in drawing paper and they come in mixed media paper, hardbound and softbound. So that's nice. Um, this company, and this is, I know, it's a knife for everything. Okay. This paper is cappuccino colored, which I thought would be fun. And this is 80 pages and it's 55 pounds. So it's definitely a drawing sketching pad and not mixed media or watercolor. That's a really pretty color. And I'm sorry if the lighting's really crap. Um, I record at night because homeschool the kids during the day because I'm 41 and I have the kids and pandemic sucks. Okay, so that's really pretty. And maybe I'll do a fill a sketchbook in a month or something. Oh, and look, there's a little, there's a little bookmark. I love hardbound because you can take them with you camping and hiking and things. You don't have to worry about beating them up a little bit. All right, that's nice. Um, I, needed, oh, I needed some new of these and these are chalk pencils. So this is a great way to do detail over pastels, really fine detail in pencil format. And I had a couple one-offs of these. Um, I had the white and the dark green and I gave them to my children for drawing on fabric for sewing lessons. So these are really nice. This is Generals. And I got the 36 pack and they all have erasers. It's all really nice. Oh, look at all the sharpeners. Yeah, I'm sharpeners I'll probably give to my kids. I'm a Mobius Rupert um, brass sharpener kind of girl. But these are nice for detail. So those will be awesome. Really like that. And oh, <laughs> oh I appreciate this. So I ordered a ton of new paintbrushes. I've been incredibly hard on my paintbrushes. I damage the bristles all the time. Or I trim the bristles in weird angles just for different effects and it really cuts down on the longevity and the lifespan of the paintbrush doing doing the things I do so I purchased a bunch more Let's see if I can get this open and okay here we go I got a couple different kind And these individually wrapped, you can see, are little fancy pants. Okay. I'm trying to remember everything I purchased. But that is what this is for, isn't it? The list. So I got the silver and I don't know. I just bought a ton of fine tip detail. I always tell myself work big. 
and I never do. I never listen to myself. I always end up going smaller and smaller. This size is a 10. It's round. I really like round. I I use round much more than I use flat, but that's such a personal preference. And this guy's smaller, or girl, or pineapple. Um, this one's a double lot, so zero, zero. And they're hard. I'll have to um, use some soap to soften them up. This one already had a guy pop off, a cat pop off. But I ordered a two slash zero, a three slash zero, and this is a ten slash zero, which just think of like <laughs> five hairs, <laughs> five strands of hair really short put together. I don't know if there's a better way to see those, but for teeny tiny details, um, painting on rocks, doing really, really small projects. These are great. The only problem is because there's only like five hairs, five strands, um, they just don't last as long. Because again, I'm incredibly hard on my things. And here's a five slash zero. That one's really nice, a little soft. And these are all sable and here's a zero. These are all sable hair and uh, I will use and abuse those nicely. I hope so. Depending on how small I work and what I plan on doing, these can last anywhere from a year to five years for me personally. But again, it's all just what you use and how you use it. Art supplies is so subjective. And you really don't need anything fancy if you don't want to. <laughs> you know, get enough junk mail in the mail that you can practice drawing and doodling on that working on perspective or shading proportions or just you know if you're a figure artist work on landscapes so i needed some new watercolor paper and i love arches arches is 100 percent rag so it's 100 percent cotton and the paint goes into it really nicely the water goes into it really nicely i could do layers this is the 300 pound so this is super super thick block um, and as you can see, it's all black. Yay! Um, I have the 140 pound and it is a dark green. These are both, well, this one's pretty smooth. The 140 that's green is, um, cold pressed and cold pressed is rough and hot pressed is smooth. But why cotton instead of cellulose. Cellulose is what like Canon or Canson paper, student grade paper is cellulose, which is just wood pulp. And the color doesn't go in as well. The water doesn't absorb as well. It reacts differently. So it's much more affordable, but it's also much more expensive. Or it's much more affordable, but it's harder to work with. So they use it as a, a student grade because you can buy it in bulk and save for students. This is, <laughs> this is the one right here, this guy. I had saved up and wanted to purchase for a long time. I wanted to try some artist grade chalk pastels and I'm super, super excited. Um, and I like oil pastels, but I find when I'm in a hurry and I just wanna do something really quick and small, that the blending on chalk pastels is just easier because there's less there's less oil in them. They're drier. So this is the Richardson Richardson soft pastel, and I got the landscape colors. I tend not to gravitate towards the warm tones, reds, yellows, oranges, and I know there are cool toned warm colors, just as there are warm toned cool colors colors, but. I wanted to purchase ones that I know for sure I would use before I got too crazy. So I purchased a set that only had a couple really warm colors and then the rest really, really cool. So they're about the size of your finger. I probably shouldn't be using them on here. Oh, 
so buttery and smooth. Oh, that's going to be fun for blending. And I'll do a video where I um, talk about these and compare these to a couple other brands if folks are interested. But these retail for $100. Yeah. They're not budget. No, you don't need anything this fancy. Um, again, I was working off a gift card, so I was able to splurge, but those are just really, really pretty. Absolutely gorgeous. Okay, so that's my 2021 art haul. That's all I bought this year. That's what I'm going to try and use up. We'll see how that goes. Um, I think if I do big things and then in conjunction go back in detail with some of these pencils and I can even do this book with pastels. I have some spray fixative already. Would even be pretty on some of this paper. I can probably combine all this together save for the, the brushes, but the brushes, I mean, it's just nice to have tiny detail brushes. So I hope... I hope this helps. I don't know. I never post on my YouTube. I just never, never do. And I do tons of things and I never post the process, the process or what I'm thinking or what I'm going through. I just, I don't know. I'm just not that kind of girl. So if I start doing that, I can maybe do a video a week. We'll see how it goes. It's really hard. <laughs> There's no screaming in the background right now. The kids are walking the dog, but typically Typically it's loud and that becomes difficult. But yeah, art haul. Yay, art supplies. Okay, hope everyone has a wonderful week and stay safe, please. I love you all.